Hi there, it's Connie Ray. Welcome to Connie Ray's Craft Room. Today I have a sneak peek for you. This is the gorgeous um, Christmas Time is Here Suite, or parts of it, that will be available to customers from the 1st of November and will only last while stocks last. And this is a, a, a release from Stamping Up that's, um, I don't know, it's a surprise. I figure um, and it is gorgeous I love this stamp set there's a few reasons why and I'll tell you this is the card that we're going to make today um, I'll bring it up close so you can see it there's this is champagne foil here and uh, this is the rose and obviously some embellishments and stuff like that with some itty bitty greetings down here so but I'll go over that and how to make it in a moment so the suite comes with this stamp set this stamp set how exciting it also comes with some dies the dies uh, this stamp set is photopolymer this stamp is uh, rubber red rubber for those who would like to know that um, and the dies I, I purchased because you can purchase these together so I purchased the stamps together and the dies together and it was a hundred dollars and I thought mm, okay I like I, I thought it was quite good because this die is very handy I'll show you why in a second and these gorgeous dies here create some of the most beautiful little embellishments I'll show you in a second I'll just pop my my gorgeous stamps out of the way so this one actually cuts out the rose itself so when you're you know you've done stamping or whatever it is that you want to do and there's another trick I'll show you with this in a second um, you can cut out your rows so that's handy you've got some labels which are these sizes you've also got little embellishments that, let me just see if I can get one that's a little bit more colorful for you to see so this die cuts out maybe I should get a white one Let's have a look. I've got heaps of them here because I've been playing. Okay, so this one cuts out this gorgeous little um, trellis kind of look. And then there's a little one here that cuts out. What have I done with my other little trellis? Oh, there it is. Heading for the floor. Yep. Okay heading for the floor and crashing on the floor and there's a little trellis there so there's a little like a thinner one obviously okay so those whoop, hang on let me get those back around the other way so that cuts out that and that cuts out that which are gorgeous little trellises especially for roses right okay so we've got that and then you've got these little gorgeous little border things oh here's one that I um, cut out in our champagne gold isn't that beautiful so that's one of them and then there's the white one that I cut out as well so these are gorgeous for um, embellishing your, your projects so yeah I love this set it's just amazing and I recommend it because there's one other thing and I will show you why I would recommend it for people who like to use designer series paper um, but sometimes struggle with it I'm going to do a few more projects um, with this um, to showcase you to showcase for you I should say just move all this out of the way okay get that there and the other thing I want to show you was I there's there's more to the bundle than just this and I will promote this uh, closer to well, actually on the 1st of November you'll be able to come back to this particular tutorial and you will be able to see what's available and you can you've got a few options you can just get the stamps you can get the stamps and the die bundle you can get the whole bundle which includes ribbons um, embellishments let me just find the embellishments yeah, da, 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 which I've put away which are these gorgeous um, sparkly Christmas embellishments embellishments gold um, actually I'm going to get those out because I think I'm going to use those today oh and I'm probably going to use these ones today as well um, so you've got those and there's my dog going off because she's hearing an alarm uh, a, a siren she always does this now and the other thing that I purchased because I didn't need all of it I didn't get the ribbon what else didn't I get I don't think I got the ribbon was that the only thing I didn't get oh okay 
I'm not sure now. I'd have to look back at the bundle, but you can see what I got. I also purchased the designer series paper. Now, who couldn't resist? Who could resist this? I mean, look at it. It's just beautiful. You can't probably see it, but this is there. It is. There's a gold flicker in there. You get four sheets of each colour. One, two, three, four. So you've got these gorgeous roses. So you get four sheets of that, and that's the back of the four sheets. You get <laughs> my dog. Four sheets of this one, which is gorgeous. And these have all got gold foiling through them. So if you can't see it, trust me, you will love it. So there's four sheets of this, and I've got a project in mind for this. So keep like, share, subscribe. <laughs> and that's the back of that one. So you might like that side as opposed to this side. I like this royal regal look. And then there's four sheets of this. All of them beautiful as beautiful as each other and they've all got the gold foiling through what i love about this one is this and i hope you'll love it too because oh and there's the back of it okay so obviously my favorite side is this now what i felt i, I stumbled upon was the fact what i'll just get that cardboard out of the way was the fact that you can take your die and you can cut out with the die, amazingly, uh, here we go, here. You can cut out the rose with the die. It fits perfectly. I think it's designed to do that. It wasn't something that I made up. <laughs> it wasn't something I stumbled upon. It just does cut out exactly like the stamp. So that is really, really cool because this is another way that you can use your designer series paper without wasting it. And as you'll see, if you look closely, I have brought that into, pers well, I haven't brought it into perspective because I don't use a video camera, I use a handy cam. So that makes it a little bit tricky. So if you can see that, you'll see that it's perfectly aligned with the designer series paper and you can just pop that through your machine and you will have, where is it? A perfectly cut out rose. <gasps> is that amazing? I love it. I love this option. I think there should be more of it because it just makes creating a little bit easier when you're not 100% sure about which way you want to go. Now, I've worked out with each piece because I wanted to keep... Uh, I, yeah, it got a little bit difficult because I really liked these ones too, but there's no die for these. Oh, unless I've missed something. Let's have a quick look just to be sure that I'm pretty... Oh, I don't know. No. That would be just too much, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be able to cope with that. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if this one actually does cut out these roses, but it definitely cuts out the the same the one that looks exactly like the stamp. So you'll see that the stamp and the um, the flower itself are exactly the same in design. See how the there you've got your. Yeah, it's all the same, exactly the same, except it's coloured. So you don't have to stress about the colouring because I find that colouring is a big challenge for me. I'm not really all that good at it, but I do enjoy it, but it doesn't really look the way I want it to. Not like some people who've got brilliant skills of colouring. So yeah, that's basically what happens. So I'm really excited about that. Um, as I was saying, you, you cut round with a pair of scissors. So basically I just cut it out with a pair of scissors around the one that I want and then I run it through, pop, pop the die on and then run it through the die machine. Now on a sheet you will get, unless they're different, which I don't think they are, I'm pretty sure they're, are they all the same? Let me get them all on the right angle. Yes they are. So you get one, two, three, four. You will get four of these roses out of each sheet and there's four sheets so that's what eight eight and no, sixteen is that right sixteen so you'll get sixteen cards doing this particular card this way so keep that in mind it's a great way of getting color really and easy cards super easy cards makes them so easy so that is something that um, I stumbled upon and I was quite happy I have to say because it's a beautiful rose and all you have to do is cut it out of the paper Ooh. okay sorry i'm getting excited about it okay so that's the bundle so far and that's what i purchased in the interim but there will be like the whole suite there will be the stamps and dies there'll be the designer series but you can buy it singularly double or you can just buy the stamps and the dies or the dies and the stamps whatever okay 
don't want to go on about it too much but you know it's pretty hard okay so what we're going to do is we are going to quite quickly make this card get all my little bits now I've already gone and cut out my pieces that I have used so oh and the other thing that you're going to need is the um, this is a new one this is in the Christmas catalog the holiday catalog and this is the itty bitty Christmas stamp set I love itty bitty stamps because they just fit perfectly onto your cards without taking up all of the cards and they don't need to you don't need to negotiate with the picture so as you can see here this is the season's greetings out of this particular stamp set which is here and as you can see on this card it's not that big it fits perfectly and it's not overly large but it says everything you want it to say so anything itty bitty i really like um itty bitty christmas itty bitty birthdays i think there is and there's itty bitty um lots of different sayings so if you get any of the itty bitty stuff you'll find that it works really well and the other thing that this works really well with is your rectangle dies and the small rectangle die cuts around these little um, sentiments beautifully so we'll be doing that as well so um without any further yapping let's get going so you will need that as well so i've already gone ahead and cut out my my rose and I have also used, this is foil, beautiful foil. This is from the Noble Peacock, and it's the green one. Oh, I need my embossing folder that I popped it through, which is in the holiday catalogue, and it's the... I'm not quite sure what this is available now but this is this the it is this design it's in the Halloween section I think and I will mark this in down below so don't worry but that's what I've used and I'll pop the foil through that it comes out beautiful absolutely beautiful I did use a different colored initially uh, on this one the, this, this example I have used the champagne foil with some uh, Rococo rose so you might like this color as opposed to the green, it's up to you which foil you've got on hand. All I tried to do was just marry the colours up with the foil. So there's, you know, a bit of Rococo rose in there and, in, and there's also a little bit of green in the foliage. So that's all I've done is just try to marry up the colours and not go out extraordinarily bright. But yeah, that's how we've done it. So, well, that's how I've done it. Ta -da! Champagne is actually quite nice. It's very pretty. I like it. Anyway, I thought I would use this green. So you um, need a piece of cardstock and you make this card. This is a smaller cardstock uh, size. It's not an overly large one and I like it because it just is easier. The canvas is smaller and it's easier to design. I feel sometimes that is um, one of the traits of having a small canvas. I really enjoy that. Okay, so this card is seven inches in length and uh, five inches in width five inches at width in width and it's scored at three and a half down the middle so you just need to get that card that you I've used thick whisper white as always the foil is three inches by four and a quarter inches and we're just going to pop that on there I have cut out that little trellis and I've done that in I'm pretty sure the color that I used was pear pizzazz okay let me see. I think it was pear pizzazz. Green apple or old olive? No, I'm pretty sure it was pear pizzazz that I have used in terms of colour. So that's the green that I'm using. So what I've done is just done this tiny little trellis and I'm just going to put a little bit of, oh yes, I am going to put a little bit of tape on the back of my card here. just to hold down the trellis okay so 
Sorry, I keep going off the camera there. Nothing new for me, is it? <laughs> okay, so we've got, take that off. And I wanted to just make sure that I could see just the edges of it there like that. So I went up to the first line of little holes on there and just made sure I could see the holes. And stuck it down. You can use um, Tombow for that if you wanted. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's whatever you're comfortable with, I think. Okay, so creating a little scalloped edge on that. We'll stuff that down. And then here we are just going to stick it down a little bit further. So you can use dimensionals. Did I use dimensionals? Oh, I did. I used dimensionals. You could use Tombow. You can use whatever you want. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Tombow always gives you that wiggle room if you can't get things straight. And that's always a bonus. And I am one that relies on Tombow for that particular reason. So, But in this instance, I'm going to use some dimensionals. Pop it up nice and strong. What a gorgeous set. Oh, the other thing I want to say about this set is that even though it is, um, it's a Christmas time is here sweet, and that's the name of it, Christmas time is here sweet, this sweet can be used any time of year. So it's not just a Christmas. If you look at the roses and stuff on the stamps, you will be able to use this stamp um, for birthdays or this stamp set for birthdays or any occasion really weddings whatever it's not something that specifically i mean you look at it it's pretty you you don't have to use it just for christmas but i like the fact that christmas this year has got lots of flowers and really different design stuff it's not just your traditional christmases christmasy colors this year which is really nice i like that bit of variety okay so we are just going to grab my tweezers because you and I both know, those people who follow me regularly, both know that I cannot line things up. But, you know, one day it'll just be so easy because I keep practicing. There we go. And we're popping that down. Beautiful. Now we're going to pop the rose on. So this is a very easy, quick card, as you can see, once you've done all your cutting. So now I'm going to pop on my rose and I think I liked the rose like this because that way the sentiment goes along here just nicely. And again, I'm going to use dimensionals. Oh, there they are, silly me. Give it a nice bit of height. So excited about the way that you can cut the flower out with the dye. I know that is crazy, but it to me it really appealed because I am that kind of person where I just love that idea. Because like I said, colouring sometimes isn't that easy for some people. So you know, dyes and paper, bring it on. I'm telling you, I think it's great, especially something so pretty like a beautiful rose. Okay, so for this one, I want my uh let me see yes i want my sentiment to be sort of like visible and easy to put on without covering up my rose so i think there would be good oh hang on maybe not quite remember with your foil when you do run it through your machine don't go heavy overly heavy on it because you will um, crack the foil but it works beautifully just popping it through a few times if you need to there we go now on this one I did cut around the edges but you know what I don't like it I actually like the way that it sticks out on the card like that so if you're giving this to somebody I suppose if you're oh no because if you're posting it it will fit into our envelopes 
without any um, issue. So there's the, an envelope that we sell, um, and I'll include the link down the bottom. But you can get that in, and it will go through the post. If you don't want it to catch and you're worried about that, just use Tombow. Don't use um, uh, Dimensionals. So, yeah, it'll fit into an envelope. So there you go. So I'm not going to cut trim that off. I prefer not to do that. So now we are going to do our little um, sentiment. I have just come back. I just paused it for a second and I'm just going to pop in my sentiment just to make sure. I have found that, um, and I do this quite a bit with stamping onto this, I like to take it off sometimes and just make sure that I get the actual amount of ink on there that I want. So, but that's entirely up to you how you do that. I have also used granite gray. No, is that granite? Yes, granite gray. Gray granite, gray granite. So I've used gray granite as my um, color of choice because I didn't want it to be too hard and I wanted it to match into my um, colors like with the pine cones there. So that's what I've done. So I've just gone off and I have used the um, die in the rectangle frames, dialets, uh, dies. These come in really handy and I like to use them for our sentiments as I explained before. Run it through a few times so you get that nice detailed look. And I've stamped it with the itty bitty stamps, as I said, the season's greetings and the itty bitty stamps. So I'm just going to put some little uh, smaller dimensions on that one. And just to pop it up. And again, I'm just going to use my little thingies here to stick it on with. Just somewhere where... I don't like it when it takes up all the picture. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Okay, there looks nice and balanced. Ooh. Straight, straight. Please be straight. Is that straight? Yeah. Ooh, doesn't look too straight from that angle. Looks a little bit too... There we go. That looks pretty, doesn't it? All right, so the other thing I'm going to do is just pop on some um, embellishments. So I'm thinking, should I put on the green? Mm, I'm not sure. Whereas the Rococo Rose went really well on the green. I don't think I'll put them. What I might do is I might use these ones. I might use the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels because I did use them on here before. And I will use um, some green ones. These little ones get stuck on your fingers. They don't want to come off. Okay. There. And I'm wondering if these will actually work on the green. Well, I think they will. All right, we'll try them. All right, so we'll use these and a little one. medium one okay down here 
or maybe down here there and Okay, where to put the rhinestone? Okay, there we go. So those are the um, which ones are these? The faceted dots and the holiday basic rhinestone jewels. So that is our card or cards using the sneak peek <laughs> sneak peek. Um, Christmas is Christmas time is here, sweet, and it's going to be available on the first of November for everybody for a short time and only while stocks last. So if you really do like this whoop, this sweet, it'd be nice to pop in and get it. Don't forget to get the paper um, and the dies because being able to cut these flowers out and just sticking them on is so good without worrying about the colour. Perfect, I say perfect. So um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, have fun with this suite. I will update the links when they become available from the shop and of course you can just go straight to the links and you can purchase them through my shop. Um, thank you very much for joining me and please do like, share, subscribe until I see you next time and I think that's about it. I do hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I am looking forward to seeing you soon with a new tutorial. Bye for now.